Hey everybody, it's Cast Acosta here. So, I was just going through my videos uh, looking for my why. You know, I have a lot of videos that talk about little bits and pieces of my why, but not one that's just totally dedicated to that. And what brought me to this was I was watching a Simon Sinek video about starting the why. And, you know, he talks about how you people perceive you in an advertising sense um, if they can't connect with you. And uh, he used the example of Dell versus Mac. You know, and Mac has almost a cult following. You know, Apple is is worldwide. People don't care if they pay more money for Apple products. It's the feeling that they get when they buy them because they resonate with the why that Steve Jobs instilled in that company. And the why was that we feel like people should be able to have more at their fingertips. So we feel like people should be able to um, beat against like the establishment and have the kind of computer that they want that's user friendly that's about them and not the company and that resonated so heavily with people that Apple is the number one computer retailer in the world and that why um, it, it, it transcends every product that they make because the products are about the users not the company Dell on the other hand makes computers also and they make perfectly fine computers but it's a, cute, a computer company and when they advertise to you they say buy our computers because we make computers Apple says buy our computers because we love technology we love innovation and that makes you feel connected with them on an emotional level. So I thought, well, I'll make a blog about this. Yay. You know, and then I figured, well, I'll add a video to my blog. And I go to my video channel and I realize I don't have any videos that are directly focused on my why. And I know I've mentioned my why many times. So we're going to say it again. My why is simple. It's simple. My why is about supplying my daughter with a, a, a solid foundation as she goes through life. Um, and that, that is a very personal thing for me. Uh, of course, you love your child. Everybody loves their child, it goes without saying. But I, uh, and I'm not knocking my mother, but I grew up in a household where it was it was about them and it was about their entertainment and their pleasure and what they wanted to do, where they wanted to go. So if we went to an amusement park, it was because my parents wanted to go, not because it was fun for me. You know, we didn't go to Disneyland because I wanted to go to Disneyland. We went to Disneyland because my parents wanted to walk around Epcot and drink at every place. You know, um, my we didn't have birthday parties for me. We had parties for them and their friends. I was an accessory. I was something that they brought along for entertainment. My parents did a lot of drugs and they did a lot of partying and I was a toy for them. They would wake me up in the middle of the night and take me to the laundromat and put me in the machines. It was stuff like that. And so when I had a child, that became a, a challenge in breaking the cycle. My, my household growing up was very violent and full of drugs. So my first order of business when I had a child was to break that cycle. And so I don't do drugs and I never did drugs and uh, I've admitted I used to smoke pot before I got sick and I, I, I got lupus but my I lived a very conservative life as a parent I never brought anything 
into my house that would jeopardize my daughter's welfare and, and happiness. Um, it predicated everything I did. My job hours were built around spending time with my daughter. Uh, you know, traveling was built around being with my daughter. Everything, dating was built around whether it was good enough for my daughter. And when I almost died two years ago, the why became crystal clear. Up until that point, I, I, I just had like a, a guide, you know, a guideline. And the guideline was be a good parent, make a stable life, keep a roof overhead, keep clothes, you know, keep food, and make it happen. But when you almost lose your life and you have to watch your child watch you fighting for your life, it changes everything. It changes the whole clarity level. And for me, that happened right in the emergency room. To have to send her home by herself while they hooked me up to machines and literally say to her, honey, they're going to do things now that you not you can't see. You have to go home. It broke my heart. It broke my heart. And moreover, we weren't ready. We weren't ready financially. We were not prepared. I lived paycheck to paycheck. Uh, I didn't have health insurance. I didn't have a savings account, a retirement account, nothing. And so everything from there on out has been about trying to create a foundation so that, God forbid, anything happens to me, my daughter's life doesn't get blown out of the water, you know. And to create the time freedom and the financial freedom necessary for me to live every day to its fullest so that my illness doesn't get the best of me. And so that my illness doesn't control our lives, you know, so we can live as normally as possible. And I've made great strides in that area. And my, my online business is gaining momentum and I am seeing profit. So for me, the why is really the time freedom and the financial freedom so that I can enjoy every last minute I have with my child. And my family. Because every day I learned every day is a gift. Every day you need to be grateful. You know, every single day I, I'm waking up and thinking, I got another one. Because it's a gift. It's, it's extra time. And I, am, I never lose awareness of that. So everything I do is dictated by that. My catalyst even for joining companies, is about how, how helpful can I be to someone else to get more time with their family and, you know, their child? And is this company caring about the community it's in? And, you know, are they giving back? Is there any kind of charity uh, composite to it, uh, component to it? Is, you know, how... How sustainable and, and, and organic and down to earth and in line with my core value of giving value and being valuable, how in line is this business to that? And I've been, you know, I've been lucky. I found, I have found... I found two businesses right up, right away that substantiate that, and it's wonderful. So that's my why, you know. My why is about my family, my friends, and and my child, and just being as valuable as I can for the rest of these days that I have for myself, taking care of myself as best I can to not cause my daughter stress and worry, you know, so every day I give it 100% effort, um, I have drastically, drastically changed my lifestyle to support a healthy, a healthier environment and healthy living, and I have managed to put my illness into a remissive state, and 
um, I have control and that's extremely important and that's all I can do really that's all I can do is just every day get up and, and work towards those goals so that's my why you know that's it it's you know it's not fancy it's not uh, you know I need to drive a Ferrari I need a 25,000 square foot home you know I don't need homes on different continents or any of that. Of course I want to have a nice car. Of course I want to have a nice house. I'd love a vacation place. But is this what drives me? No. Absolutely not. That is not what drives me. Those are perks that come along with following your passion and your core beliefs. That's how I see it. And so far that's working for me. So that's all i got to say. This is Cass. And uh, have a great day. Make it a good one.